Within days of Hurricane Matthew, the Sanders Foundation mobilized supplies to give immediate relief to the Caribbean families whose lives were severely disrupted by the hurricane. The foundation dedicated 100% of their hurricane relief funds to the people of Haiti and the Bahamas. Public Relation Coordinator Dillion Forrester says the foundation is currently supplying basic resources to the people. Yes, well, definitely through the Salation missionaries, we've been able to sterilize the water. So we have already gotten the chlorine tablets there as well, uh, as, well as the clothing for the global, global Orphan Project. So we definitely have brought in the clothes and the chlorine tablets. Uh, we're still working on getting the supplies for the reconstruction. But so far, it's been you know, sanitizing the water because of the cholera uh, situation, as well as food and just drinking water. So those were our initial uh, donations. She said there are no serious medical implications recorded as the volunteers continues to provide aid. Again, the volunteers and organizations that we worked with, uh, two of them, particularly the All Hands organization and Salation Missionaries, they have been working in Haiti uh, for many, many, many years now, and they have actually sort of expat volunteers who have been there on the ground since uh, after the earthquake. So they really know how to sort of nav navigate the Haiti situation, and they have been able to sort of safely uh, distribute the items. So they themselves, our are, are volunteers, haven't had any specific uh, dangers, I, you know, they they use regular measures to ensure that they are safe. So luckily, we haven't had any accidents or um, serious medical uh, situations arising for our volunteers. The organization is working with their partners to assist and identify long-term sustainable projects to include the recovery of technology in schools in the Bahamas and greenhouse construction in Haiti. She thanks the general public for the continuous donation to the people of Haiti and the Bahamas. We need to see GBN News.